Good afternoon, all. Camelback Trading 2724 coming to you this Tuesday afternoon, December 17th. We're looking at the last two days of the market profile on Window Trader on the SPY ETF and a very, very tight range today. We had a 99 cent range yesterday. Today we have a 77 cent range. So, and that's after a weekly gap high yesterday. So, very, very tight range. We end up 12 wide, just missed 13 wide. We basically had a 20 cent range from value high to value low. So, you could have made some scalps in there with some decent size if you wanted to. I only did one. The trades I did today, A period started. Remember I said, if we get accepted into L&M, we should trade down to the bottom of it. Well, we opened, went higher, got into uh, L&M. I didn't do anything right away, came back up, took a short near the opening, then wrote it down. Turned to be a decent trade, then we ripped up. Took out the high today. We took out the pre-market all-time high to the tick. So right now, our all-time high is in regular trade now. Is Then in B period, we got down, had a poor low, which held all day until M period. B started trading back up. In the meat of it, I thought we'd roll over. I took a short, started a short here, started too early, got above the opening, took a decent-sized position here, once it got back into the opening, I was comfortable, wrote it back down. I was trading it back and forth, adding on, taking off in both B and C. Turned out to be a nice trade. That was my best trade of the day. And then in F period, took a short again around the opening. Now, you can't really tell on here I'm in four tick increments, but they had the option spread pretty wide, so I did okay on it when it came in. And I could have done that a bunch of times in all these time frames, either buying it or selling it, but I didn't do it. M period flushes out. And after doing trading in the middle all day, we actually go out with the price probe. So A and B's low was 319.53. We traded 319.48 late. I mean, literally on the bell. So we go, go out with a price probe to the downside. Destinations for tomorrow. So for the upside, now we closed at 319.55, and I've explained this many times. Because the day's over, even though we closed above where the price probe started, which is 319.53, we still use it because we don't know until A period starts if it's accepted or rejected. So your first upside destination is 319.53, <clears throat> which is today's price probe. Then we have 12 wide up at 319.88. Then I'm using G's high is 320.07 as an afternoon rally high. And that was the one after I did the trade in F. I thought at some point we were going to take our initial balance was all A. And it was 72 cents. So I figured no doubt we're going to take it out. So when G started going higher, I really thought that would be it. So I got picky and I didn't take that short there. I would have been a decent short. But I didn't do it. But that's our afternoon rally high. And then today's high and all-time high of 320.25. For the downside, we now have today's low of 319.48. Yesterday's low of 319.17. And then filling the gap at 318.67. That's a weekly gap, 50 points from the 16th. If you fill that, we don't have anything until 317.13, which is 11 wide from the 13th. And below that, the afternoon pullback low of 317.08 from that same day. And we'll stop there. And then quickly on the charts, we'll look at the weekly and daily. Weekly gap is still holding. We're still up very nicely. The daily, now one time framing up, five days, right? Market can't go down until it stops going up. So we'll see them all if we're able to take out. We'll see if the price probe gets accepted. If it does, then that means we would stop the one-time framing down. And then we'd at least be in balance in the daily. And then we see if we can close both the weekly and the daily gap 
before the sellers could even continue doing any more damage if they're able to do that. Hope you had a great day trading. Have a great evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.